Anemones and Majano anemones. These pest anemones are often introduced into a tank by live rock or corals as an unseen hitchhiker. Once one is in your tank, they can multiply quickly and overrun your system. Majano anemones sting and can injure or kill your precious fish and corals. It is critical to remove these problematic pests to ensure a happy and healthy aquarium. We're using the tank's blue lights to illustrate our demo a little better. So how do we get rid of the Majano anemones from the tank? In this video, we are featuring the Majano wand. The Majano wand comes in two sizes, one short version and a longer version. Since the demo tank is two feet deep, we are using the longer one for this application. A major point is that you do not want to submerge the push button or power supply. Make sure you keep the push button and power supply out of the water at all times. Before I start, I like to turn off my power heads. Now take off the plastic cap from the wand. As you plug it in, you should see the power cable turn green. Now comes the fun part. Submerge the tip end underwater so it is right next to a Majano anemone. Now start touching the Majano anemone with the tip of the Majano wand while holding down the button. You want to touch the Majano anemone on the top, bottom, sides, and on the mouth if possible. If you are doing everything correctly, you should immediately start to see the Majano anemone turn into a gooey mess. What is really happening here is that the anemone cells turn to hydrogen and living tissue disintegrates. If you see any arms or tissues left alive, just touch it with the wand until it changes to this. Then you could take a turkey baster and suck out the gooey mess. You should not keep the push button pressed continuously as the wand will emit some gases into the water. Only push the button when you are actually touching a Majano anemone. This is the usage table that you should not go over. Once you reach the maximum amount of time for your tank, just wait at least four hours before you use the Majano wand in the same tank. Notice, the smaller your tank, the more cautious you should be about your usage time. When you are done, make sure to rinse off the submerged part of the wand with warm water. Dry it, then put the point cap back on. I like to store it in the box that it came in as to protect it for the next time I need it. This video is not anything like a Harry Potter movie, but I had fun zapping those evil anemones in the demo tank with my Majano wand. My fish and corals are going to be much happier now. If you have any questions about the Majano wand or would like to order one for your tank, please contact Aquarium Specialty at 803-788-4445 or visit www.aquariumspecialty.com.